Hey, we're back and I got a different game, Hacknet, released in 2015, developed by Team Fractal Alligator and published by Fellow Traveler. This uh, promises to be a hacking adventure, which is a hacking simulator, uh, where we can follow in the footsteps of a deceased hacker. And looking at the, uh, um, as you can see, it's on sale now, by the way, if you like what you see here today. Uh, but as you can see, it looks uh, in the background, the uh, shots we have, some of them look like they may be dramatized, but we do seem to have like legitimate uh, terminals and and stuff. So I thought, let's give this one a try and uh, see what we see. Look at that, it's only two bucks right now. I don't remember what I paid for it, but that is a steal. I, I haven't even run this yet, so we've got the first time set up stuff here. Checking the OBS here to see if I might need to bump up the. Oh, oh shit. Wait, what? What the hell happened there? Uh, anyway, I don't know what that was about. There we go. I don't mind if you see my taskbar. I'm not doing nothing. 100%. Oh, wait, it switched automatically to. There we go. Here. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do is here, maybe we should pump up the uh, size a bit. Uh, yeah, that doesn't seem to be hurting anything. Let's turn the music down. This one, uh, let's keep everything else. Uh, okay, well, I guess we're going to new session. Oh, it's extensions. There we go. New session. Hey, user. <clears throat> Charlie. Password is super secret. dramatic. I mean, it's pretty true to life so far. <laughs> this does seem to be a boot sequence. Oh. Thinking day timer expired. Initialize a fail safe. Alright, so there was some check to see To write this in past tense, though I hardly feel like admitting it's over. My name is Bit, and if you're reading this, I'm already dead. Okay. Some kind of dead man switch, a 14 day timer triggered, a script ran, and threw some output into a console. Must be the dead hacker that the game description alluded to. It's my guess, anyway. As of right now, you are at risk. Learn as quickly as possible. Hold on, I gotta turn my mic volume up. It's very quiet, apparently. Why does it do that every time I... Yeah, I see... I guess probably what I should do is turn display 2 off. There we go. That way you don't get the infinity tunnel when I click off. As of right now, you are at risk. Learn as quickly as possible. Begin the tutorial sequence by pressing the continue button below. It says to press it, but it doesn't say how. I'm tapping on my monitor and nothing is happening, so it must mean click on it, huh? Oh, damn, that was loud. Connect to a computer by typing connect IP in the terminal or by clicking on a node on the network map. Connect to your own computer. Click on the map now by clicking the green circle. Met map. The first thing to do on any system is scan for adjacent nodes. This will reveal more computers on your map. You can use scan this computer now by pressing the scan network button on the display module. That should be all you'll need from your own server for now. Disconnect from your machine. 
It's time for you to connect to an outside computer. Be aware that attempting to compromise another, the security of another computer is illegal under the USC Act 103818. Okay. The actual, I mean, I don't know why they made something up here, but it's not wrong. It's the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, which, yes, is part of uh, USC 18 because it's a criminal code and 1030 is correct, but it's just weird the way they put it. Proceed at your own risk. Connect to, uh, okay, clicking on the blue one, Enlightened International. This VM's terminal module has been activated. This will be your primary interface for navigating and interacting with nodes. Command can be run by typing it out and pressing enter. A computer security system and open ports can be analyzed using the probe or nmap command. Analyze the computer you are currently connected to. Well, uh, nmap is a thing. I'm already connected to the machine though, so I'm not sure why... I should be scanning this from my machine or from another machine to this one, but... Okay. It's also not what the output of nmap would look like. Um, but okay. So, 80, 25, 21, 22 are open, apparently. Here you can see the active ports, active security, and number of open ports required to successfully crack this machine using port hack. This machine has no active security and requires no open ports to crack. If you are prepared to, it is possible to crack this computer using the port hack. Okay. We were doing so well, and now all of a sudden we're not, but okay. Uh, so we'll... Alright, we'll just run. That's it. <laughs> Looks like it's doing password brute forcing. Yes, it is. Okay. Congratulations, you have taken control of an external system and are now its administrator. You can do what you like with it, however, you should start by scanning for local nodes. Locate with uh, additional computers to this. See, we should be using nmap to scan. So instead of hitting a scan network button. I don't know what the hell the password brute force was supposed to be, but I suppose maybe we were trying to brute face force a, a, an SSH or HD or FTP password or something. I don't know. But we're, we're already getting into this situation where we're like sort of talking about the right thing and then definitely not which i don't understand because with some games of course you're gonna get rid of the whole realism aspect in order to enhance the fun or to you know usability right to make the concept more easy to grasp for for lay people who are playing the game but this is clearly a game this is definitely not an interface that couldn't support something like that and this is definitely not a game it seems for people who aren't familiar with these concepts so what the hell are we doing here guys why are we half in, half out? Why not just do it? Right? You're already using Nmap. You're already having me do the stuff that these tools would be able to do. Why not? Why? Whatever. <sighs> no results, not a problem. Next, you should investigate the file system. Uh, list the files and folders in the current directory. Well, we don't know what to say this way. Um. Home logged in sys is when I get foot balls, okay. Which that I mean that's that worked, so again we're kinda half in, half out here. Navigate to the bin folder, see the bin. And I see now we're using forward slashes here, so that gives us a hint, I guess. Uh to view the contents of the current folder you were in. Okay, well I just did that, so okay, config.txt. <laughs> Look at config.txt. <laughs> Okay, couldn't just cat it or use any of the actual... Oh, maybe that is what they want me to do. Huh, they do, okay. Oh, not a clear of the tracks if we leave. Move up a folder in the directory, you know, the wild card in case... Well, that's not a wild card. A wild card would mean it's wild. This is definitely breadcrumbs, but uh, whatever. Um, colors enabled. Peach ivory for chocolate. It's funny. Here is enabled to both us. Helicopter resolution, screen enabled, textured folder. Okay, so this is a Windows machine for sure now. Then admin facts, not form documents, serious document system textures. Okay. Move to the log folder. So you can log. You can delete a file using the RM everything. And do 
Congratulations, you get a strike. Okay, congratulations, you're completely free. You get a section of this tutorial. Finish it, you must locate the process ID of this tutorial program and kill it. Except to say that I never will, but if you're reading this, it means you might be the only person that can make things right. Right now I'm trapped, there's no way out, not enough time I need your help, but here's something that you need to take care of first, the faster the better. Heck, net OS wasn't meant to be released as it is now. After a while, an automated track will activate itself, you can't let that happen. Connect to your own node, which will be green on your net map, then find and delete security tracer.exe. When you're done, just reply to this email. Hurry. Okay. Nothing is running, so... Okay. We're, we're, it's a Windows machine, because it's an EXE, it sounds like a PE binary, and yet we have a home directory, and this doesn't look like a Windows file system, or an NTFS or, or um, FAT file system, I should say. So it wasn't running, but they wanted me to delete it, I guess. Can I... Great, that should keep you safe for now. Okay. Poor Nagalone isn't just going to cut it, it's part of the price of fine. I should start by checking out a friend of mine, but by Viper Audible, I know. He's honestly not the brightest friend in the box, but he always seems to get a hold of useful code. You should have no trouble getting into his files. Finding something useful might be a bit of a more challenge. You can, for the most part, ignore the generic file stuff that gets logged or saved by a program. I see logs and express many things like exe files or like a controller. Okay. Download any files you can use using the SP okay. link. Supposed to cover my 
tracks here. Yeah, I guess I will. Alright, that's all I got time for today. I got a presentation I gotta give in a little bit, but uh, looks like we got into it pretty fast here. There wasn't really much of a tutorial. But that's okay. I, I'm I'm fine with that. And it is this is the most true to life hacking simulator game that I have played so far. So uh, I'm encouraged by this. I'm definitely gonna do another session on this one. But 15 minutes to get through the tutorial and dip our toes in it seems like enough for now. And I have to run out. So we'll see you for part two.